What's going on guys, this is Austin from 3 Guys Tech Reviews and right here I have the Fannie Wang on here headphones. Now these retail for $169.95 on the Fannie Wang website and they're available in three colors. Right here I have the white version, they're also available in black and red. Now let me go over what you get in the box. Inside the bag you get this pouch. Now this pouch is extremely soft and I'm sure it protects your headphones against scratches and dirt but on the downside it really doesn't protect against drops so good for looks but it doesn't really protect your headphones in this pouch you get this cord now this is just a standard audio cable it's gold plated as you can see but what's really neat about this cord of course you plug it into the left speaker but here's the cool part about it you get this dual jack this really actually comes in handy all it is is an inline cable splitter but it's extremely convenient say you want to listen to a song that your friends listening to or they want to listen to one of your songs all they have to do is put their headphones into this jack and that's it so they can listen to what you're listening to and you guys can listen to the same song at the same time the one downside to this is that this actually deteriorates the quality just a little bit you can notice the the quality drop but if that doesn't really bother you this is a great tool to have and if you don't want to use it it doesn't get in the way because again it's in line so if you're not using it it's just, just there and this protrusion actually isn't uncomfortable in any way so again with the deterioration it's just a little decrease in sound and the quality goes down just a little bit but you really don't notice it and this comes in handy a lot now if you wanted to hook up maybe 10 wangs up using 10 of these cords then you would definitely notice the drop in quality but with just two headphones maybe three it's not a bad deal the last thing that comes with these headphones is their two-year warranty now it comes with a manual you don't really need a manual to know how to work these so moving on now I've had these headphones for roughly less than two weeks and first off, let me just say that I was highly impressed with these. Again, you get the trifold design, and it has aluminum hinges. These bands have the Fanny Wang headphone logo branded on them, here and here. And you also get the logo inside here and inside here. These are marked left and right. These cups, amazing. They feel great on your ear. Up here you have a foam soft band and this offers cushion against your head so there isn't too much pressure when you put these headphones on. Now, the one thing that I was a little worried about was the plastic shell. Now, I must say that these, that actually does look pretty good compared to what I thought it would look like. It's not really a fingerprint magnet because you can't see the fingerprints, but while it is sturdy, I get a little bit of discomfort. It's not really discomfort, it's just that I get a little afraid when removing the headphones because it doesn't seem too durable. Like, if you extend it more than this much, it seems like it can break because it's made of hard plastic. That's one of the downsides to these headphones. But overall, the build quality is, is pretty good. There was only two main things, which was this band and this wrong one this one is okay it doesn't drop or anything but this left headphone is extremely annoying it might be just my headphones but I guess something's loose in the hinges in the aluminum hinges right here but it drops on its own which can be pretty annoying but it's not really a deal breaker it again it's probably only these pair of headphones so it's not a huge problem once they're on your head they feel great now let me get into the sound quality of these headphones. This is a disclaimer. Yes, I have heard both the Studio and Solo Beats headphones, so I can give a pretty good comparison about these. First off, these are better than the Solos. I can't really say much about the Studios, but these are definitely better than the Solos. These give really good bass, but it's not overpowering like the Beats are. If you're like me, you listen to many different genres of music, and I do not like overpowering bass. Even on hip-hop songs, it sounds really, everything is clear, it has crystal clear mids and highs, 
There's one thing I would recommend though. If you have an iPod or anything, just let you know, an iPod does not have the best audio output. So if you get, this goes to any pair of headphones. If you get a pair of headphones, make sure you check the EQ because the EQ makes a huge difference on the sound of these headphones. And once I set it to an EQ that I like, the sound, I was just blown away by the sound quality of these headphones. So make sure you go and do that because that makes a tremendous difference. And again, the bass is present and it's definitely thumping, but it's not overpowering and there is a difference. But again, they are better than the solo headphones and I would definitely recommend them over the solo headphones. It just, again, that one thing, the solo headphones band is, is much more sturdy, I would say. But it's probably because of this hard plastic shell. But the, the one thing about this plastic shell is it makes it look a little cheap, but for a $170 product, it definitely lives up to the price. Now, I can't say that you can't find better a better deal on these headphones, but for the style and the sound quality, these are definitely a great deal. Now, if you're an audiophile, I'm sure you'll find better value in other headphones. But for just the regular person, and I listen to a lot of music, and I mean a lot of music. I listen, I listen to just about every genre of music. These do the job just fine. They're much better than any headphones that I've listened to, except for the, the studios. Those were pretty good, but they're definitely better than the solos, and they look great. I've gotten compliments on these headphones ever since I started wearing them. But again, if you're an audiophile, just know that these have a 40 millimeter titanium plate match drivers, which give it a punchy bass line. Again, not too overpowering, but again, you can definitely get a better sounding headphone for less of the price. Again, these are $169.95 on the Fannie Wang website. So, final review. If anything, I would give these an 8 out of 10. Maybe a 9 out of 10. It's just one, com a couple complaints. This band is extremely annoying and I'm not sh too sure about the durability of the plastic. But it hasn't really offered me any trouble other than those two problems. Again, I would definitely recommend these over the Beats by S Dre Solo Headphones and I would recommend you go pick up your pair. Again, they're available in three colors, the white, the red, and the black. And they're available on the Fannie Wang website. That's FannieWang.com. I hope you enjoyed this video. And... Let's get to the giveaway part. Just to let you know guys, I will be doing a giveaway. So please subscribe to find out about that. If I get more than 3,000 views in 30 days, I will be doing a Fannie Wayne giveaway. So subscribe, send this to your friends, like, rate, comment, whatever you have to do. If I get more than 3,000 views in 30 days, I will be doing a Fannie Wayne product giveaway. So stay tuned for that. This is Austin from 3 Guys Tech. Hope you like this video and thanks for watching.